Hey, what's up, guys? Tomorrow Studios 1990 here, and today uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys about you know what I got for Christmas of this year, 2022. So um, I'll be showing you guys about you know what I got for Christmas. So let's get to the first gift. So the first gift I got is a Blu-ray copy of Lupin the Third versus Detective Conan the movie. Now, um, as you can see here, like Detective, how it's spelled, well and the FSK-12 and the Kaze right there. Well, this here is from Germany. As you can see here, guys, there is this German writing on the back. Something, uh, not pretty good at translating in German, so. No, yeah. And as you can see here, Kaze, well, this is licensed by Kaze Deutschland over in Germany. Yeah, so this, we're gonna put it right here. Let's get on to the next gift. Next gift I got is Lupin the Third, the first on Blu-ray, oh, and DVD. Yeah, so um, basically, um, this is the released on December of 2019 in Japan, then later released worldwide in 2020. Oh, and other countries later in 2021, I think. Yeah. Though, fun fact, this was animated by the same studio that animated Sonic cutscenes, Mars of Planet Animation. Also, um... I actually do plan on either taking this or this to see either, well, for this one or these two to see, um, well, I plan on going to Soccer Con in April, so, um, when I was on Instagram, I saw that Richard Epker, the voice of Dice KG in Loop on the Third, is actually going to be there, so I have either bringing this, this, or my Part 5 Complete Series, which you remembered from last year. Of 2021, I got for that for Christmas. So, yeah, now this is the back here. This is the features it has, and it's hitting me by. Oh, it's dubbed by G Kids. So, yeah. Now onto the video games. I got four video games here. So, um, for first of all, we got Super Mario 3D All Stars for Nintendo Switch. Yeah, and, uh, like, when this game came out, like, originally, I refused to buy it. But then I found out, uh, I should come back to Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy. Because the thing here, guys, I actually played Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy as a kid, but not 64. I was actually introduced to Super Mario 64, but with a remake, Super Mario 64 for DS, though. Some people see it more as a downgrade compared to this one, like, I mean... The original game was in 64 bits, while the remake was in 32 bits. Yeah, and also you're thinking like, But it's Super Mario Studios! This game doesn't exist anymore! Well, it doesn't exist on digital stores. Like, the software is no longer on Nintendo eShop, but you can still get the game physically. So, yeah. Still, I still have PTSD of Super Mario Galaxy 2 not being in the collection. But, anyways, screw that. Let's get to the next game I got. The next game I got is Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe for Nintendo Switch. Yeah, and so this is a remake of the first two games, Angry Video Game Nerd 1 being Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures and Angry Video Game Nerd 2, referred to as Angry Video Game Nerd 2 Assimilation. And uh, this does new changes to the game, like... Basically, see here, um, this game is based on the web series Angry Video Game Nerd. As you see here, that's the nerd right there. Then we got the BS man. Is that guy dead again? And Mike there. Mike Matei, specifically. Basically, you see um, these things here that are from the series, like Super Mega Death Christ right there, or the Where Did You Learn to Fly? And that robot right there, and that thing that you put balls inside of it. Oh, that was a weird ga board game, you know? This does add some changes to it, like, um, for example, the changes added to it, like, since the first two games were very difficult originally, the remake did make them much easier. They also added new difficulty options to the game. Yeah. Released by Freak Zone Games and Screenwave Media, Freak Zone Games was actually the company that developed 1 and 2. Well, the first game, but Screenwave Media developed the second game. So... Sorry, guys, I'm off talking. So, on to the next game. The next game I got for Switch is Splatoon 3. And, uh, 
This game looks awesome. Like, I've actually played the second game, though. I don't know where my copy of the second game is. Yeah. Like, I had this friend, like, basically my friends were telling me to get this game, you know, just so I can play online with them. And, uh, I'm able to play online. And I have a friend on Instagram and TikTok who actually cosplays as Agent 3. So she's looking for someone to cosplay as Agent 9, so, um... The cosplayer's name is Ellie Cosplay, so um, I'll send you links to her Instagram and TikTok in the description below. Yeah, and so, enough of that. Last game. The last Nintendo Switch game I got is Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Now, I actually really wanted to get this game, but I couldn't get it at the time because this was like 60 bucks at the time, and... Due to, uh, I don't know how to explain it, so. I actually have the original game on Wii U, but though. Despite the fact that this one added some new changes, like Amiibo support, and a new expansion pack. Yeah, the game does use Nintendo Switch Online, which the original game did not have online play. Yeah. But basically, for Mario here, he looks like a furry right there. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha Sorry about that, guys. And, uh, about that. I also did get something cool, though it's actually something from what I actually previously owned. So, let's get to that gift. Another thing I got, guys, is this here. The Nintendo Switch game card case here. And uh, I got a new one, actually, uh, from the back. Uh, it says I can uh, store about, like, uh, I don't know what that is. High capacity and self-protection against card damage. Yes, and uh, as you guys know, um, this here... Right here, this is my original game card slot case here. So look, as you can see here, look, I was only able to store 12 games. Yeah, crazy, right? But if you want to see me unbox this, I will try to unbox it. And uh, I actually did get another video game. I forgot to mention that. So uh, let me get it out. So, the video game I got for Christmas as well is a PS5 game. It is God of War Ragnarok for PlayStation 5. So, um, this game actually follows events from God of War 2018, or referred to as God of War 4. And, uh, what I can tell you about this game is, it is a masterpiece. Got high ratings by critics here. I mean, you're thinking like, So, my students, what critic do you use to use for games and then you buy them? Well, most of the time it's IGN be thinking, ah, well, it's IGN for Christ's sake. It's their taste. But there's also times I use GameSpot. And um, yeah. So I actually get some cool new merch here, but it's not any of these video games here. It's something else. So let's get to that gift. Out of all these games and discs I got, oh, let me tell you, I got oh my god, a pair of J's. But then for these, what I got is oh my god, the Cherry 11s. But they're actually called Varsity Reds here. God, uh, guys, these look so freaking awesome here. The Solas looks really cool, and the uh, and the Jumpman looks really awesome, guys. So awesome, you know. Yeah, this is the right shoe. Now let's get the left shoe out. This here is the left shoe, guys. Now this shoe is made out of a different material compared to other typical Jordans. Like, there were these Jordan 1. It's made out of a leather material. And so, yeah. Let's get out of that out of the way. Also, I did get a cool piece of clothing, actually, so let me get that. Out of all these things, plus the sneakers I got, I got the drippiest thing of all, and it's this. Oh, a Supreme jacket that is red. Oh my God, yeah, this thing is really cool. Now, as you guys didn't know, I'm actually a Supreme fanatic. I really love Supreme merch. And uh, I also 
did get a sticker with this, but uh, it's just your most generic Supreme sticker, so yeah, yeah. I also did get more stuff for Christmas, so I'll be bringing it out. So, as you guys know, I'm back here. I actually got some plushies for Christmas, so let me get them out. So, for the first plushie I got is, um, I got Boo here. Right here is Boo. Got this from my adult friend. And then, uh, I also got a Shy Guy. Got this from my adult friend here as well. Oh, there's also... This one here, Chip the dog here. He was the previous mascot for Cookie Crisp. Back in the 90s. Oh, and the early 2000s as well. He was just saying, Cookie Crisp. That's how he always said. And then I also got Lucky the Leprechaun, mascot of Lucky Charms. Always has been the sole mascot of Lucky Charms. Then I also got... Buzz B here. Got this one from High Night Cheerios. Yeah. Then I also got uh, Count Chocula from, well, Count Chocula. And then uh, I also got two more here, guys. Uh, this one I got here is from uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the baker here. And then uh, I also got Sunny here from Cocoa Puffs. Like, Sing. Cocoa Puffs! Cocoa Puffs! Cocoa Puffs! Cocoa Puffs! Cocoa Puffs! Cocoa Puffs! That's how he sounds. Oh, and I also forgot about the last plushie in here, which is the Trix Rabbit here. Yeah, and also if you see that little thing right there, those were the Trix fruit shapes, which were from 1992 all the way to 2006. Though, for some reason, they still sold this in Mexico, but recently, they returned it back in 2019. So, yeah. So, as you guys can see, this is what I got for Christmas of 2022. And also, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And also, comment down below, like, what did you get for Christmas this year as well? If you're also going to plan on uploading a video, I'd really appreciate to see what you got for Christmas. So, yep. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.